You see, when people are trying to create, they want a quiet place with no interruptions where they can let their minds play and wander wherever they want to go without any hurrying. And sometimes they feel confused because they've never been there before and they're okay with that. Executives and managers are the polar opposite. They want to control everything, they demand clarity, they prize quick thinking, and they like their employees to work hard and humorlessly, and always in a hurry. So it's not surprising that the creatives and the suits don't get on, but we need them both. Because, as The Economist magazine once said about Hollywood, if the creatives are in control, the place soon goes bankrupt. And if the suits are in charge, then all the films are finished on time and under budget, but nobody wants to go and see them because they're so f boring. So there has to be balance, and that has to come from the top because they're the ones with the money and the power. Are you finished yet? Uh, and what was that bit about execs being boring? That oh, was well, sorry, proof. I'll change that bit, actually. Well, what would you oh, like me to say? Don't what would you... bother. What? We'll sort it out in the edit. Let's cut to the music now. More energy this time. Hi. <laughs> Half a bee, philosophically, must ipso facto half not be. But half the bee has got to be. These are the its uh, entity, you see? But can a bee be said to be, or not to be, an entire bee, when half the bee is not a bee due to some ancient injury? Singing. A la dee dee, one, two, three, and it's a half a bee. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and it's a half a bee. Is this wretched demi bee half asleep upon my knee? Some freak from a menagerie? No, it's Eric the half a bee. I love this hive employee bisected accidentally one summer afternoon by me. I love him carnally.